Good morning, and welcome to the Yorkshire Dales, and more specifically, Horton in Ribblesdale. And you know why we're here. We're here to do the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. So it is now just a little after 6 a.m. and I've hit start on a tracker. And obviously the challenge is to do the 24 and a half mile route over Pennigent, Wernside and Ingleborough in less than 12 hours. We've checked in at the Pennigent Cafe there and we're gonna get on the way. Well, let's do it. beginning the climb to Penny Ghent. Peak number one. Thank you. Thank you. So we've got our first proper view of Penny Ghent now. That nice little incline there just to get the heart rate up and get the legs working. But it's a beautiful morning. A nice temperature inversion in the background there. Absolutely stunning. It was fairly cloudy down in the village itself, but yeah, I don't think we could have got better conditions. I'm saying this now. Nice little cloud. High teens, a nice breeze. Perfect. We're nearly at the sharp climb up onto the top of Penigent now, and Lisa has already broken out the headphones. She's uh, listening to some very uplifting and motivational music, the Smiths. <laughs> We'll soon see. <laughs> A nice little scramble up this section here to the top. How's it going, Lise? It's all right. Loving it? <laughs> it's all right. It's not too bad. We're almost there. And here we are, almost at the top of Penny Ghent, peak number one of three. Yes. Peak number one, Molly. How's it feel? Smashed it. <laughs> Slightly out of breath. But pleased with ourselves, aren't we guys? Oh, pleased yeah. with ourselves. How are we feeling yeah. everyone? Yeah, I'm glad it's not the full peak, John. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, mate? Yes, I'm. Good? Good stuff. Made it. Loving it. <laughs> so that was a nice sharp climb up the side of Penny Ghent in like two stages. Nice bit of a scramble, but I believe that is the most technical uh, section out of the way. But it's good to be at the top and as I was saying earlier, the weather is amazing, so the views are spectacular. Yeah. Hashtag cheese, cheese straw. <laughs> That first one was a bit more yeah. taxing than what I thought. Nice, uh, nice little bump. <laughs> yeah, nice bit of scrambling. Yeah. yeah. So I met Russ down at the uh, Pennigent Cafe. Hi. And uh, going good so far, mate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think you picked a, a nice day for it. Yeah. We certainly have. We. Uh, I don't think we could have picked a better day for it. Oh, 
So I've always thought that I'd like to do this challenge. I mentioned it to Lisa a while ago and then momentum has gained and we got Molly on board and one thing led to another and Molly's uh, colleagues from work are here as well. So we've got Tim, we've got uh, Steve, Lee and Chris in no particular order. And we're all doing it as part of a bit of a charity walk. Um, we're doing it in aid of Derbyshire Mind and the rest of the gang are doing it in aid of Derbyshire Mind and also Help for Heroes. So here it comes. There is a link in the description. Any donation, however great or small, is really appreciated. So no pressure whatsoever. It is there. Head on over and uh, help out if you can. And thank you to everybody that has already. Yes, we've hit the target. I think we needed to set ourselves a little higher target, but we literally created the page yesterday. And lastminute.com, last yeah. <laughs> it's on BT Donate and obviously a yes. Lovely photo of me and Dean. There is, yeah, at Glastonbury, which is where we it's were. It's always worth a look. Yeah, where we were this time last year. Um, yeah, so if you do, thank you. If not, not a problem. Thank you. You've been bullied by uh, Samsung Health. I know, I know. <laughs> Every time you stop, <laughs> she's getting the whip out. Let's see if she goes. There she goes. We're about three hours in now and just under eight miles. Last time I looked, it was 7.75. And we've got food in our bags for the first peak. And we've got a support crew. Nikki and Caitlin are going to meet us in the car around about the Ribblehead Viaduct area, which according to the sign back there is two and a half miles. So in the car we've got bags for peak two and then they're going to meet us in between two and three to get the next lot of food. But everyone's still fresh, my legs feel good still and uh, the weather's still amazing. And that's for more. Time for the first sandwich of the day, peanut butter and Vegemite. We've made it to checkpoint one and met the uh, support crew. Time for supplies for leg two. Just in the background here is the spectacular looking Ribblehead Viaduct. And we're not far off beginning the next climb up onto Wernside. That's pretty impressive. The river flows over the railway line. We're almost at the top of Ingleborough now. That's quite a long drag up there from like from the railway line onwards. But as we've got up onto the top of the ridge, it's a nice breeze. So hopefully the wind protector is doing its job. Fantastic views of the Lake District off to the northwest there. I was there about three weeks ago. How do you feel then Lisa? I'm alright now if you'd have asked me two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> might not have been the same answer. I was just saying earlier that it, it was quite a long drag up from the railway line. But you are rewarded with views of Lake District and the coast down there near like Lancaster Way. The view doesn't make your thighs feel any better. Oh, okay, right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so 
It's not a bad view from here. Ingleborough in the distance, and obviously Penny Ghent in the background. So we're here, the trig on Wernside. Well, we're on the wrong side of the wall as well. Another Vegemite sandwich to try and keep the energy levels up. How goes it, Molly? We've made second peak, Wernside. Yay, big cheer, everyone. Yay. 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 How's everyone? <laughs> Tim's, Tim's busted the beers Tim, out. Tim's How many been, is that? Uh, was she on the second one? <laughs> second peak. Second peak, yeah. <laughs> Everyone else? Yeah. How are you going, Steve? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Chris? Cracking. Loving it. Cracking. Thrashing it, Will. After a short 10 minute break, uh, it's time to start the descent. I've heard that this is quite a sharp one, so I think it's time to bust out the poles as well. Want to pole? Come on, man. <laughs> so, this is it. This is the start of the sharp descent down to Chapel Liddale. So we're back down in the valley now after the descent from Wernside and it was very sharp indeed at one point but um, utilised the poles and it seemed to take a bit of the strain away off the knees which is all good. So the next checkpoint is around about I'd say about three quarters of a mile away. We're around about seven hours now and I think we've done about we think about 16 miles something like that. I'm pleased to say we weren't tempted by any of the snacks back there. Um, I mentioned earlier that it's not far now to the next checkpoint, so we'll be able to get the next lot of food. <laughs> Resupply time. Take on some more water. We drunk quite a lot of water today, which is quite good. Um, probably take another three litres with us for the final push back to Horton in Ribblesdale. So we're just about to start the monster of a climb. Thankfully only short, but it's quite sharp up onto the ridge and across the top to the summit of Ingleborough. Have a quick look. Mercifully short. Lisa's powering on up with the poles. Finding it easier with those, Lisa? I think so. <laughs> if you think so, that's good enough. We're getting there slowly but surely. You know me, if you've watched my videos before, I try not to sugarcoat things. It's a sharp one, this. But it does make a di it makes a change, rather, to not be doing it with full wild camping kit. <laughs> I'm just singing Over the Hills and Far Away by Gary Moore to myself. Oh, harnessing the power of rock. R.I.P. Gary Moore. Enough respect. Almost there. Here comes Tim. I was saying that was harnessing the power of rock. But I'll tell you what it was. Jay will uh, agree with me on this. It was the power of Dextro's energy. <laughs> we used to consume those at a silly rate when we were in the army cadets. About age 14. You know the score, Jay. Dextro's for the win. Here comes Lisa. There she comes. Made it, Lisa. To the top of peak number three of the Three Peaks Challenge. All that's left to do now is get back down to Halton in Ribblesdale. We've got around about two hours and 50 minutes to do it, so I think it's doable. 
it's less than four miles to go now ish <laughs> so it's a matter of bolt down as fast as we possibly can with that injury how do you feel mol i feel brilliant now i know i've made it to the top and it's all downhill but that climb was i'm trying to choose my words carefully it was a beast yes it was a yeah, beast. beast yeah i wasn't smiling on the way up but you're smiling now which is all good yeah <laughs> Yeah. How's everyone else? Literally. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, Relieved. How many beers is that, Tim? This is number four. I'm number four. Steve. One for each beacon, and then a Excellent. celebratory one. <laughs> yeah. Didn't, didn't you want to suggest finding a third, a fourth beacon? Uh, no. <laughs> so I thought I'd be a gentleman and wait for Lisa. <laughs> She's way up in the distance. Totally sacked me off. That time again, she just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Got that on camera? We've got just over two miles to go now, and we've got an hour and a half to do it. So we've got a good pace on at the minute. So we definitely, I would say at the moment, we're going to get there in under 12 hours, which is the main goal. But um, yeah, everyone's with us. We're all looking good. I've got a slight pain in my right knee, but nothing that walking with the poles won't fix. I've uh, been descending from Ingleborough with, with, uh, with the poles. There she be, Horton in Ribblesdale down in the valley. We're here, back in the village. So all that's left now is to walk around the corner back to the Pennygent Cafe and sign out. And it's just ticked over 11 hours. So we could probably crawl the remaining distance in less than an hour. So let's keep moving though. Here we are, Pennygen Cafe on the Pennine Way. So I'm going to stop it right now. So that was 11 hours, 14 minutes and 14 seconds. Pretty good, and I'm pleased with that. High fives all around, I think. You, 11 hours, 14 minutes and 14 yes, seconds. Yes. Well done, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> So we've all got to go in individually and say that we're finished. But, um, I will hopefully show them that as proof of the time. Did you win? I got us a leaflet. <laughs> well done, Lisa. Thanks. 11 hours 14 and 14. It's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's okay. Yeah. Next time we'll do it faster. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously we've got to say thank you, a huge thank you to everyone that's donated so far. The link, as I mentioned earlier on, is in the description. If you wish, no pressure at all. Every amount, no matter how large or small, is greatly appreciated. It's going to go to a great cause, Derbyshire Mind, doing great work across Derbyshire. So, as always, thanks for watching. So it's bye from me. And we'll speak to you all again soon. Time for a beer. Bye for now. And we're back at the car in a free space as well. Win-win.